Today we're tackling everything that you need to know about May 1st National College Decision Day. We're gonna do it in six must-know steps. But before I forget, if you're a high school senior and you're watching this video and you've already earned admission to one of your best fit schools, well done. Pat yourself on the back. Awesome work. But back to our points. Point number one, what actually is National College Decision Day? It's simply a deadline for admitted students to make their final decision about which school they'll attend in the fall. This is the date that seniors have been preparing for literally throughout high school, hence its importance. Uh, point number two is making the right choice but doing it the first time. Let's remember that people are going to ask you where you went to school throughout your lifetime. So use all of the assets available to you. Lots of schools are undoubtedly reaching out to you for last minute questions that you or your family may have. Schools will no doubt host admitted student days on campus. I am speaking at two such events this weekend alone. All of those events. Uh, you can connect with students and faculty and admissions folks and financial aid and career services. Take advantage of every one of those opportunities to make your final confident best fit choice decision. Uh, point number three on my list is all about financial aid and college costs. Most families will have already received their aid awards back from individual schools uh, as well as their expected family contribution, their EFC, as part of the FAFSA form, the free application for federal student aid. If costs are still a concern for you as a family, remember you can reach out to your admission and or financial aid counselor to discuss specifics again. Uh, point number four is just a quick ethics review. Double depositing or placing a deposit at multiple schools is considered unethical. That's pretty much common sense, but it's always good to say these things out loud. This means that by May 1st, you should confirm your enrollment and submit a non-refundable enrollment deposit to just one school. Point five is about waitlist. I bet you already knew that this was likely gonna be one of my points. Many schools will go to their waitlisted students if they had fewer students committing to attend their school by their May 1st deadline. Schools may choose to reach out to waitlisted students throughout the summer months. If your number one school does accept you off of their waitlist and you decide to accept their offer, it is always best to formally withdraw your acceptance from your original school. So let's say it out loud for folks, being upfront and honest is always the best policy in college admission. Uh, point number six, and then we'll wrap up. Options if you miss, intentionally or otherwise, the May 1st decision deadline. Remember, not every school will earn their anticipated freshman class by May 1st. Sure. Do not be bashful in reaching out to admission offices to explain your circumstances. Let's also remember that not every student may know by May 1st what they want to do come the fall. Some students may wish to seriously consider a gap year or to enroll in a community college. All are fine and fair choices. Folks, you have this, absolutely. And we at the Prince Review have your back all the way. Um, as always, I'm hoping that you enjoyed today's video. Please, please, please do subscribe to our channel for the latest on college admission information and test prep and much more. Rob Frannick, Editor-in-Chief here at the Prince Review, signing off for today. Be well.